Uh, Daily Madrid here, first episode of this brand new series, and we're kicking it off with Real Madrid versus Levante. Hooey, what to say about that game? It was in Levante, it was away, and um, it was at 7 o'clock in the morning my time, quite earlier compared to the usual noon, 1.30, 1 o'clock, right around that time, usually at noon. But what I can say of the game, it was good. We won 2-0 today with a goal from Vinicius Jr. and Karim Benzema, finally Karim Benzema, who surprisingly this time last year had maybe four goals to his name and was in the Pichichi, leading the Pichichi rankings as of now. And a uh, side note was uh, that exactly one year ago was that when Eden Hazard scored his first Real Madrid goal and his only Real Madrid goal. I'll get to Hazard in a little bit. But the match, see the first half, it was it was actually pretty good. I got up maybe 20 minutes into the first half, Vinicius already scored and his goal was superb. Modric with the corner, off Casemiro's head, and then inside the box, Vinicius curls it past the goalkeeper. Quite a good goal from Vinicius considering his finishing is above well, on par with Maratas, let's say that. So, 1-0, Vinicius Jr., but then, but then, toward the end of the first half, it was abysmal. Abysmal, to say the least. With the starting lineup, uh, we don't have a healthy right back. Carvajal, injured. Odrizola, injured. Who do we play? Nacho, who is all right. I might add, he did okay. I would much rather have Nacho in right back than godforsaken Lucas Vasquez. Why is he still in Real Madrid? I will never know. Other than that one change in, uh, in uh, oh, my bad. But uh, other than that one change in defense, uh, everything else was normal. Midfield: Modric, Casemiro, and Valverde. No Cruz because he's out injured. Modric, can you believe it? He's 35. He's 35, and he's still putting out master classes like that. Give this man another Ballon d'Or. I'm not kidding. At 35. Iniesta is playing in Japan, and Xavi was in Qatar. Tell me who that. Tell me who your goat is. Mine is Luka Modric, and he is clear of any other midfielder in Real Madrid history. Say what you want. Yeah, so Modric at 35, still an elite midfielder. Uh, attack: Benzema, Asensio, Vinicius. Benzema <laughs> somehow scored today. He somehow scored. It was in the 90. 90th minute, toward the end of the game, Benzema was clear through. He could have scored simply because he was by himself up front. He could have scored, put it away, but he wanted to make it a little flashy. You know, he curls it past the goalkeeper. It's 2-0. He has finally gotten his first goal of the season. And this right here sparked up a lot of controversy. Luka Jovic didn't start. I honestly predicted this would happen. Luka Jovic starts two games, then he gets benched the third. Doesn't surprise me, really. And it's weird to think because Borja Mayoral was just sent out to, on loan to Roma. So you think Jovic is clear, he is safe, he can play more matches now, but he's still, he still he didn't play at all, period, this game. He was benched and stayed on the bench. Now, I don't know if he's going to play versus Cadiz. That's our next uh, match after this two-week international break, unfortunately. But we'll see if Jovic gets any more playtime as of now, which I hope he does. Because the two matches he started, he was really good. Because uh, when he had the ball, he was creating chances. Yes, he was missing chances, like three chances the last time he started. But he was creating chances, he had the ball, he was playing very well, and he's a striker. But of course he has to score goals, and he missed three chances. So he has to work on his finishing a tiny bit more. But like Emilio Butcher... Uh, Emilio Butragueño said Real Madrid legend. He played perfectly. He has the skills to play for Real Madrid. The play style, he still needs to adjust to it. But other than that, Luka Jovic is perfect for Real Madrid. And he, he just needs to be starting more games. So he's going to be a little iffy. Because he hasn't played that much. Uh, another thing with the team. How are we expected to win silverware with this squad and this current lineup? But let, Let's think. It was 1-0 for 90 minutes until Benzema finally puts it in 2-0. Vinicius scores a curler, but then after that, into the second half, he just kept missing sitter after sitter after sitter. Benzema the same. 
how are we expected to win silverware when we don't have clinical goal scorers? Benzema clearly can't do it. We have Luka Jovic, but Zidane just doesn't want to start him. And Vinicius, don't even get me started. Ansu Fati, there is a reason. He is top of the Pichichi rankings as of now with three goals. There is a reason today that he is on the top right now. There's a Ansu Fati right now. I'm saying, I'm saying it. Comment what you want to say. But Ansu Fati, as of right now, his finishing is better than Vinicius. That kid has three goals, and Vinicius, I think, has two. His finishing, Ansu Fati, is way, way better. Martin Odegaard, as well, started two games, and he was quite trash. And it's quite shocking to see that, once again, Luka Modric, 35 years old, you'd expect him to decline. No, he's still playing perfectly. So Odegaard might be seeing the bench for quite a while this season, unless he can rotate Valverde, Isco, and maybe Odegaard in there too. We'll see. I can see that working. Another quick little point is Isco. Why is that idiot still here? In his mind, he's still thinking he's back in 2017. Yes, okay, in 2017 you were pretty freaking good, but now you, you suck. Get out of the mindset, Isco. You suck. You're a bench warmer now. You accepted that fate. You're not that good anymore. You're, you're pudgy. Let's be let's be kind of serious. You're pudgy. You're up there with Eden Hazard and weight. But Hazard is kind of getting better. Yeah, in conclusion, the game, we got the win. So far, we haven't lost the game yet. Two, three wins, a draw. Same with Barcelona. They drew today against uh, Sevilla. And all I can say was it was pretty abysmal toward the end because we should so have won like 4 or 5 nothing had Vinicius and Benzema put their chances away. It was abysmal, to say the least. And my man of the match goes to either Luka Modric or Courtois, because Courtois, once again, he is a beast. He is currently the best goalkeeper right next to Manuel Neuer. If you compare him to anybody else, it's a disgrace. He is top two, Courtois. Neuer and Courtois, top two compare anybody else that's that's a that's a disgrace and Luka Modric like I said still playing superbly he's kind of let's be serious he's not really declining and um Perez talk to you buddy one more year on Modric's contract please that make me a happy camper yeah that's all really I gotta say guys the match was pretty abysmal toward the end but we got the win nonetheless it wasn't a pretty win but I'll take the three points next stop Real Madrid versus Cadiz FC. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is going to be after the international break. Daily Madrid, out. And um, my final word on Eden Hazard. Buddy, buck up or get out. Your weight has been an overbearing issue since last season. Your ankle injury is kind of screwing us over. Because when he's on the pitch, we score like three plus goals. He's a amazing playmaker. But, buddy, your attitude, your weight... Did we buy Usman Dembele, Gareth Bale combined? No, we bought Eden Hazard of Chelsea, who was destroying the Premier League week in, week out. Your weight and your ankle needs to be evaluated seriously, because you're going to be out for another four weeks, buddy. So you have to either choose Real Madrid or get out. I'm sick of it. Your choice, Eden. Your choice.